the feedback I was getting was, are you stupid? Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? Are you a fool? in time you may feel that you need someone to trust and you think or you may think that a human being can play that role so one way or the other you feel so reluctant relaxed and and trust everything within you maybe to the person thinking the person might be there for you in all times. I have come to a realization that the only person you can trust in this life is your mirror. And the main role that I think the mirror can play is you seeing your best friend in the mirror. Aside everything we think the mirror can do, the main role is for you to see or to fish out your best friend inside the mirror. Now you said you are coming to tell us a story about what really happened. So why, why are you talking about mirror, mirror? In fact, she should have started the whole video by saying, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Asantua, and the title of my poem is Mirror. <laughs> I, that is how she should have started the whole thing. Because everything she was saying centered on mirror, mirror, mirror. And we'll get there. I have the full just for you. We'll watch the video, not the full video. I've cut it. There are some unnecessary parts. We'll watch just part of the video, and then we'll judge for ourselves. I'm the headless YouTuber, the headless reaction. Okay, thank you. Away back. About a month and some weeks ago, uh -huh. I've been through a lot. Okay. And it all started when a friend walked into my life. At a point in time, I felt too relaxed. I felt like she's going to be there for me. I felt there was no need for a mirror. I mean, for a moment, I was like, this is forever. That is the kind of feeling I had. Uh -huh. Like, she would be there for me. She can't be there for me. Okay. In fact, there should be no need for me to do so many things if she's there. That is the kind of energy I got from her. Okay. So, she came with a proposal. She proposed. Okay? And... It was in my interest at a point i felt like she really cares about me because for someone to think about something positive concerning you yourself then it means yo this person really cares uh -huh. do you get so uh, it's either the person cares or the person wants to dupe you <laughs> <laughs> I, yes yes it's either if somebody comes to tell you something that is in your interest something that sounds too good to be true something you know then either the person really has your interest at heart or the person is trying to dupe you. Anyway, I'm Twasso. So she proposed, uh -huh. like I was saying, that I should do something. I said, so I think you should do something. And I mean, it, was, it sounded so great. And mind you, I had already gotten those kind of energies from my manager, but I thought, I mean, my husband is there there was no need because i don't know if you're getting me there but basically what she's trying to say is people have told her or her manager has told her to build a house but she felt like oh she has a husband her husband is there the house is there so why should she go and build her own house something like that we get you next time she stop beating about the bush and 
I, I got those kind of energies from my manager uh -huh. to like do something, do stuff, like invest, uh -huh. da, 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 da. So okay. when this friend walked up into my life and hit on the same point again, I literally had to buy into the idea. I bought into that. Okay. So we started and she introduced someone that could handle whatever that we wanted to do in my favor okay. and we started work she actually established the rapport because of course i didn't know the person she brought the person into my life and she established the rapport in fact everything that was going to happen involved money lots of money so the first establishment of rapport between myself and the new person in the whole picture was made by my friend okay so now i don't know asantua she, nobody is forcing you to come and put your private life in public but since you have decided to do it yourself there's no need to be vague he bought a, she brought a new person into your life a new person is this person the contractor who was supposed to build the house or what why are you trying to be vague like you're beating about the bush if you don't want to tell us then just don't tell us but if you're coming to tell us why are you hiding some what is that <laughs> what is that what is that yeah, so we started work uh -huh. first payment was made through my friend okay and that established the rapport between myself and the person and now most of the dealings i was able to talk to the person now okay because rapport has been established okay so at a point i would just call my friend are you checking up for me i mean there was she, she, there was no need for me to i felt so relaxed no need for a mirror in this picture mirror because this my friend will come in yo sis you are doing the most oh i could like all my peers will tell you people around me will tell you that whenever the kind of the sort of energy we get from this my friend is like oh wow you guys your mama is really doing the most i can't wait i'm, I'm so sure i'm pretty sure this christmas you guys are gonna spend it here do this do this da 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 da, da. so there was no need i mean i felt so relaxed okay so because your friend was coming to fan fool you all the time hey now you are, you are doing great you are doing great because of the fan fooling it was fitting you so much that you felt relaxed you didn't feel like you going to the site personally to go and check the things okay <laughs> and also. so i got to a point where i felt deep down within my spirit my soul my body that yo i think all this while i'm being fooled because i am not making use of my mirror in my room mirror. and i never ever checked up on whatever supposed project okay because i thought i had a friend so one day i passed in front of my mirror and someone called me i came back to check but i just ignored and left okay as i was walking back from my living room uh -huh. i was called again yes someone called me again in the mirror uh -huh. i stopped decided to have a thought about it uh -huh ignored again and left hey. then on another incident we were in a car i was in a car with my manager okay he was driving and i like to apply lip balm so i decided to apply my lip balm okay onto my lip now can we only apply it on your eyes <laughs> <laughs> On your lips the, who has said that you are going to apply it on your forehead what is that <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yes, tell us the story and i decided to use the mirror in the car okay, okay so i just pulled down the mirror in the car uh -huh. so i could apply the lip balm. the lip balm on your lips yes immediately i pulled it down someone called me again in the mirror hey! <laughs> <laughs>
Just tell us what went on between you and Aram GH. Whether it is true that you gave her money or she introduced you to a contractor and you gave them money to build a house for you. Tell us story, Keke. Now, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the first of them all? As Antoine. You, Yati, Antoine, Antoine. This was like the third time uh -huh. I looked into the mirror again. Uh -huh. And guess who? It was my best friend. The same person that was trying to prompt me on two several occasions that I ignored uh -huh. caught my attention again. And now, in case you are confused, if she talks about her friend, she's talking about Aram GH. If she talks about her best friend, she's talking about her reflection in the mirror. Just in case you are confused. And also, this time around, I have no choice than to listen. Uh -huh. I decided to listen to this person. The feedback I was getting was, Are you stupid? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Is everything okay with you? Okay. Are you a fool? Oh, I, for a moment, I actually thought someone was talking to me. So I, I remember I tapped my manager and I asked him, Daddy, are you talking to me? Hey, train, train, train. Is her manager called daddy or she calls her manager daddy? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, please, please. Those who know the information, let me know in the comment section. Is her manager called daddy or she calls her manager daddy? You're in twasso. To me, so I, I remember I tapped my manager and I asked him, Daddy, are you talking to me? He was like, no. I had to put the lip balm down. Okay. Come back to the mirror. Okay. And the mirror told me that it is me, your best, your friend, best friend, talking to you. Okay. I am the one talking to you. Uh -huh. I, I, that, that kind of feeling can't be explained, my darling. I, it I, can't be explained because it's a lie. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, do you think you're children? This kind of, it can't be explained because it's, a, it's probably a lie. This one that you're telling us Kwekwana's story. Hey, yes, Antoine. Antoine, so. Your feeling can't be explained, my darling. I, I just had to relax. Uh -huh. Then I told my manager to take me to wherever the project that my friend came into my life to help me get. Uh -huh. Okay. Was being established. It was around 9, 10 p.m. And it was very late. We could do that the next morning. But the kind of feedback I got from the mirror, I, I just couldn't have slept on it. it was I had to. I, I, I told him to take me there. Okay. So he did. We got there. I won't lie to you. Truth be told, immediately we got there, I broke down. I am sure God actually made me realize that when my manager was by my side because i'm not sure by now i would have been sitting here to tell my story okay. because i i met the shock of my life mm. i broke down mm. i was broken hearted i started crying it was a very sad moment for me because it wasn't easy and then i remembered how many times my mirror was trying to catch my attention but i ignored on several occasions my mirror was telling me i am there for you but i ignored i stood on my grounds looked up into the sky uh -huh. and all that was going on in my mind was like am i going to start life all over again is this me i felt like giving up I am pretty sure that if my manager was not there, I would have done something bad to myself. What broke me the most uh -huh. was the fact that my friend and the person that was involved to handle the project, uh -huh. you know, the kind of feedback I was getting from them uh -huh. was around a portion, a part of the project that was being undertaken i was told several times on several occasions that oh it has gotten here uh -huh. we were even planning on how to extend it i was so happy because i felt like yo i'm doing something good 
for myself. She told me and everybody around me that we have gotten to this stage. I mean, we are almost done. Let me just let me just put it that way that we are almost done. Now, you see, like I said earlier, why do you keep hiding the information? And I they've gotten here. And as she told me that we are almost done. And at this, if you will not tell us the, the correct information or if you will not give us the information into detail, this whole video is pointless. Tell us, okay, she said they've gotten to the roofing level and they've plastered it and they've roofed it and they've put in the burglar proof and right now they are just waiting to tell the compound. And then when I got there, I found out that they haven't they even gotten to the lentil. And they are this is how to tell a story. Don't come and be giving us vague A so that we will now be imagining. And she said they have gotten here. What is here? <laughs> huh? What is here? And when I went there, my darling, the project was nowhere close uh -huh. to whatever that had been discussed between myself and them. It was nowhere close. Okay. In a nutshell, I was disappointed. And that is where all the buha has started. But until now, I never, I, I never, all this while, I was just communicating with my mirror. I never hey. thought it was to come in. I mean, there was no need. But some of you care so much about me. A lot of you were calling. A lot of you were sending messages. They, they, they don't care about you. It's Kokonsa that they want. <laughs> die, 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 die. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. They don't care about you. They just wanted information. Kokonsa, that's why they were calling you. And I is it true? Is it true? Eh, Kokonsa, Yantwasu. My manager couldn't hold it. Uh -huh. It was very frustrating. But then again, I encouraged myself. Like I said, my manager told me that this issue is not bigger than me. Okay. I am bigger than the issue. Okay. And then if it was bigger than me, God wouldn't have allowed it to come my way. Because this issue is rather strengthening me. Okay. Maybe if you were me, you would have still been crying and all of that. But now, I know who my best friend is. Okay. I know who to talk to uh -huh. if I have anything bothering me. And who is that? I know who to rely on. Who is that? My mirror, my best friend. No other person. Jesus Christ, no, you're best. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, clap for some twist mirror. Clap for some twist mirror. Hi, clap for some twist mirror. My mirror, my best friend. Okay, get into us. So, at least by the end of this video, you should know your best friend. Uh -huh. Don't rely on anybody. Don't trust anybody. Okay. Don't rely on anybody. Don't trust anybody anybody apart from your mirror your mirror is your best friend now in total in summary all that she said the whole thing centers around your reflection or your mirror the person in your mirror should be your best friend that is it because she didn't give us any proper information she didn't tell us anything we didn't know all she came to say was some vague story she, just that she didn't confirm anything she didn't solidify anything all she came to tell us is that we should trust no human being except the mirror in our room. So you thank you very much, Madam Speaker, for you know giving us this nice poem about mirror. And I don't know. So now this is what is going on. I don't know whether she, if you understand everything, let me know in the comment section. If you think her video that she made was just you know she just came to sit down to say something so that I don't know. I don't know. Honestly speaking. I don't know. But anyway, that's it. So this was going on between Asantua and Aram GH. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yaddy! Yapong!